early in 2016, um, there was a, a group, a, a cluster of overdose deaths that were very impactful on our community. And we knew that we had to do something to, to stop the deaths and to address the greater opioid issue. And more and more people are realizing everybody's touched. You either have a relative, you got a friend, a neighbor, somebody that is suffering from addiction. We know that over half of the people with an opioid use disorder get their opioids from a friend or a relative. Community needs assessments are huge. I think we often just start diving into the work that we do. You need to be out there, you need to be talking to people. It is talking to pharmacists, it's talking to the community on how they take care of the drugs. Are they taking it back? Are they getting rid of it safely? We have also been promoting lock monitor take back. So a take back location is where you can take back your unused, unwanted or expired prescription medications. And it's generally seen as like a location that has a drop box. So a pharmacy, all of our local pharmacies have one. Um, also the police department and the sheriff department. Prescribers essentially, um, when someone comes in to them and, and asks for a painkiller or for an opioid, they need to go and check the database. In 2015, our North Dakota stats say that only like 23% of prescribers, DEA certified prescribers, were actually using that and checking that system before prescribing opioids. So that's been a really big thing um, that we've been promoting here in Barnes County. Another thing would be Narcan getting Narcan out. Um, Narcan is the overdose reversal medication um, if you're having an opioid overdose. And so we have trained all of our schools, our police department, and gotten um, Narcan into their hands. You know, the smartest spent dollar in this whole fight is on prevention. We have people in this funnel that haven't started, have started, and are in recovery. Prevention goes all the way through that.